En sen oktoberaften Under en himmel Hi and welcome to this video and my room. My name is Johanna and I'm a pagan artist and author and this is my workspace that I'm going to show you in detail in this video. So let's get started with a little overview. There's the door and when you come inside to the left of the door you can see pretty mundane things like the closet where we store all of our clothing in, a big monstera plant as well as opposite the door, our bed. And I've been getting this question a lot. What is on the other side of my workroom, so to say? And it's just that, it's the bed. Not much else to it and not very exciting. On the other side of the door, to the right of it, there's the heart of this room, which is my workspace. This space next to the door, which used to be my old altar space, and there are still some leftovers there, like these pictures and the skull. One of my drums is hanging out here, and my very first drum up there. This drum actually was hand painted by me last summer. It's a goat skin drum. And next to my ex altar, you could say, are some bones as well as my tarot collection that I have in this wooden box. And those are all of the tarot and oracle decks that I possess. And I'm really happy with the small selection because it's very handy. And another detail shot from above the bed where I keep a lot of trinkets and things that I like. For example, one of the mice here that I taxidermied myself. This is Mr. President. And a lot of other small things like books, dried flowers, collected feathers, things like that. So moving on from the bed where you can see one of my cats, we come to the desk and workspace area now. So first and foremost, this is the space where I do my workings. This is the space where I draw my artworks, where I sketch them and color them in. And also where I write for my upcoming Oracle deck. I'm currently writing the guidebook and I do this on my computer here as well. And it's also the space where I package orders for my online shop and where I sit when I answer comments from you guys or edit videos, all of the business related things. I also use this space to do my personal spiritual workings because I practice Seda and Norse folk magic, you could say. And that is what I do in this space here as well. So first of all, we have a selection of books here that is above my computer. And I do not keep all of my books here, of course, because I have way too many. I have a whole shelf in the living room, but those are some of my dearest books or books I want to read. And then in the left corner, we have some bones, some art and my cow drum that is also handmade. And then we get into these cupboards, which are pretty mundane IKEA cupboards, but they do the job. So I'm not going to show you all of the drawers, but this one could be interesting because this is where I keep stuff for my online shop. For example, these stickers. The please do not bend stickers that I put on all of my envelopes when I pack my orders. And this is the stamp that I use to decorate the envelopes that my orders come in. All of these cupboards just house a lot of mundane office stuff. As you can see here, this is the cupboard that I probably use most often. 
but there are also some witchy things in here that I thought could be interesting for you to see. For example here I have some incense, this is resin, one of my favorite incenses. And those are actually my favorite smoke cleansing mixtures. I also have some ingredients like rose petals in small jars here and essential oils and some very natural incense that we also use to burn on coals like birch bark we collected last year and dried at home. This is definitely the best smelling <laughs> of the drawers that I have. And further down we have this drawer this old box that I keep my thank you cards in and this is also something I need for my shop orders because every time you place an order and I pack it you get a thank you card with it and they have different motives on the back sides and I try to change them up every now and then so those are some examples of the designs that I always randomly pick a card from at the moment, I also have this card. This is a little um, postcard about my upcoming Oracle deck, actually, that I put into every order that I receive. And this is what the back side looks like. And I always keep those very close by, as well as the wrapping paper. And then we get onto the top of my desk where I do have photos of my ancestors and where I keep lots of bones again, as well as pens. So here's a jar full of bones next to my altar space. So this is an overview of my altar that I have in an old wooden box that I inherited. And on the first floor here, we have a selection of items that I'm going to walk you through. Right in the middle here, you can see the current weaver that I'm working with. This is a card from the Weaver's Oracle by Carolyn Hillia. And I also have some bones here, a Mutanka doll that I made myself, as well as another little statue that I made myself, and a deer jar. That is very important to me. This is something that a very dear friend made for me. And inside of this jar, there are some heirlooms. Then we move on to the second floor. And here is a statue of Odin, as well as a foremother that was custom made for me by an artist that I'm going to link in the description box, because I'm definitely going to butcher her name if I try to pronounce it. as well as some wool from Scotland with a bone that a very dear friend of mine brought me from there. And here you can see my magic journal. That's also handmade by myself. I'm showing you some of the insights of the journal, even though it's pretty hard to choose which pages to show because it's very, very personal. But here you can get a little glimpse inside of it. So moving on to the top of my altar, we have a fox skull as well as my favorite tarot deck, which is Murder of Crows. That's definitely my comfort tarot. And my prayer beads, which are also handmade by myself. So next to my altar, there is my Seder staff. This is a little overview of my staff, which is huge compared to the altar. And it's always sitting on my desk, so I have it next to me. And that's the end of the room tour. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to talk to you again very soon.